Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Numbers chapter 12 verse 6 as well as Leviticus chapter 6 verse 7. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Father God for this word Lord. Thank you for showing us and tutoring us every single day in how to live for you Lord. We love you, we praise you, you are the great master. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Numbers chapter 12, verse 6. And he said, hear my words. If there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, make myself known to him in a vision. I speak with him in a dream. So, and this is like the normal pattern um, with the prophet, the Lord speaking to them and um it's it's usually that method you know the gifts of the lord come without repentance right it's not because the prophet has done such great things that he receives the prophecy it's because god is good and he gives us great gifts um and so this is um interesting because um with moses though he was prophetic um he he was seen as the most um I, I want to say it says meek person on the earth right it said that Moses was I want to say in verse like three or so that he was so meek he was um one of the most meek people on the earth at the time and that just means submissive and um um not not like submitting to another, right, in a very humble way um, and and not letting, putting your needs first, putting other people's needs first. And so um, Moses was the most meek person on the earth, right? And so um, it says that, hear my words, if there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, make myself known to him in a vision. I speak with him in a dream. And of course, with Moses, God spoke with him one-on-one right? He, he didn't hold back from him. And so that, that was what was very different. All right. And then, so this is uh, conflated today with Leviticus chapter six, verse seven, and the priest shall make atonement for him before the Lord, and he shall be forgiven for any of the things that one may do and thereby become guilty all right. And so it says the priest will make atonement for him before the Lord. Um, and, and who is our priest? Our priest is Christ Jesus. Um, he is the one who took away all of this, um, need for the law and, and need to, to be perfected. Right. And so it says in the priest shall make atonement for him before the, the Lord, and he shall be given for any of the things that the Lord may do, may be forgiven for any of the things that he, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm messing this up, shall be forgiven for any of the things that one may do. So, um, and thereby become guilty. So like there is no, nothing, you know, that, that we could do that, um, you know, is not able to be forgiven by the Lord. Jesus paid the price for sin, right? Um, he died for sin. He paid that penalty and therefore there isn't anything out of bounds, right? So, um, um, unless you're talking about blaspheming the Holy Spirit, but I, I don't, I don't really get into that because I think you have to be very intentional about that. But um, for here, it says the priest shall make atonement for him. And that's what Christ did for us. He made atonement for us and, and he was the perfect sacrifice, right? He, he did it once and for all that everything was taken care of um, in that moment. And so, this is conflated today because um here the the prophet is is um it, the gifts of the prophet um come without repentance right is what the the word says and so um it says here 
hear my words. If the prophet is among you, I, the Lord, make myself known to him in a vision. I speak with him in a dream, right? He he is a human being. He is subject to the Lord and the Lord's guidance. And, and there's nothing that, um, that the, the priest, the, the prophet, um, is doing to make this happen. And, and he has to be atoned for as well, right? He has to come before God, um, humbly as well. He has to, to humble himself and, and not for his gift, but because he's a human being, right? And we have to remember that these people that we we serve with and that we look up to and that we are um, desiring words from and, and all these things, they are human beings and they have to have a great high priest as well, just like we do. Um, their, their sins have to be atoned for as well, just like we do. And so... Um, Christ Jesus is what they need as well. There is no one who is exempt, right? Not even Moses. Moses was the most meek person on earth. And yet he needed atonement for sin, right? He needed someone who was perfect to come in and be a savior. He needed someone who was perfect to, to take his sin on, right? Um, he didn't see Christ come along, but he 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 did have whatever it was that the Lord had in place. Because at that time, the law actually was not in place. And then the, the Levitical law then came in after that. But either way, um, it had to be atoned for, right? When they are making their offerings, um, when they when they had to burn up the animals and sacrifice them, um, everyone's sin had to be atoned for. And, and we're no exception, right? We have to have our sins atoned for Christ. Jesus is the answer to that. He is, he is the one who, who died and died in a perfect way, perfectly sinless. And, and it caused us to be atoned for in our life as well. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word, Lord. Thank you that we're in no exception. Lord God, we thank you that you have everything in control. We bless your holy name. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.